Hi kids, my name's Jim and I'm a volunteer fireman. As a fireman, it's my job to help people when there's a fire. Today I wanted to tell you about a few things you can do to help me prevent fires where you live. Adults use matches and lighters for many things, like cooking food and lighting candles. Never play with matches, lighters, or candles. You could start a fire by accident, and that fire can very easily get out of control. Many times, I've had to go to a house fire that was started by a child playing with matches. The child didn't mean for anything to happen, but that one mistake put a lot of people in danger. Tell an adult if you see any matches or lighters lying around your house. That way, they can put the matches away. A lot of house fires start in the kitchen. That's why it's very important to follow some simple safety rules. Always stay away from hot stove burners. If your parents are cooking in the kitchen, be sure to stay at least three feet away from the cooking area so you don't get burned. And if you're old enough to help cook, you should never use the stove unless an adult is with you. One way to stay safe is by having smoke detectors in your home. What is a smoke detector? It's something that senses smoke even before you can smell it. When it does smell smoke, it creates a loud sound so that you can hear the warning and get out fast. It's very important to have working smoke detectors in your home. Ask your parents to put smoke detectors near your bedroom and on each level in your house so that you can get the warning you need. Make sure they check the batteries every month so that the smoke detector can help keep you safe. When I'm fighting fires, I need to stay very calm. If you're caught in a fire, you need to stay calm too. What would you do if the fire touched you? There's one simple rule to remember. Stop, drop, and roll. How about a little help? James, help me out. If fire touches you, don't run. Stop what you're doing. Drop to the ground, cover your face with your hands, and roll back and forth until the fire's out. Then find an adult who can help you. Now, why don't you try it with the help of some of my friends? Everybody stand up. If fire touches you, you need to stop, drop to the floor and cover your face, and roll until the fire's out. Good job. Now you'll know what to do if fire ever touches you. When I'm in a fire, I have to wear a lot of gear to protect myself from getting burned. If you've never seen a fireman in action before, it may look a little scary. So let's take a look at the things I need to wear when I'm fighting fires. I need a helmet, long pants, boots, and a heavy jacket to keep me safe. So I can breathe in a fire, I need a special breathing tank and a mask. When I have the mask on and talk through it, it can seem like I'm an alien from outer space. But really, it's just me. If you've ever been caught in the fire and see someone like this, don't be scared. It's just a firefighter who's trying to help get you out. Never hide from a firefighter if you see one coming towards you. The firefighter is only trying to help you. It's very important that you never hide in your closet in your room or under the bed during a fire. If you can't get out in a fire, and you're trapped in your room, you need to stay where a firefighter can find you. On this DVD, you can learn how to make a plan with your family so you can get out of a fire safely. Ask your parents to watch it with you now so you'll know what to do in an emergency. By keeping all of these safety tips in mind, you can be safe in a fire.